Hi everyone, welcome back to Way of the Hunter here. You can see that I'm, I'm literally picking right up from where I left off the last time because uh, I have these uh, two little exclamation points up here for missions. So I want to see what they are. Um, Hi, it's April again. Sorry for the weird welcome. Could have been worse. <laughs> How? Okay, it was pretty bad. Can you explain to me what it was all about? I need to knock some sense into Noah. By scaring him shitless? And that would help in what way? To make him understand what it feels like to be scared like that. Hurt. It's better if you see it for yourself. I'll send you the coordinates. Be careful where you step in this area. And please disable uh, traps and call me afterward near your lodge. The signal is weak. What traps? Okay, well, there's the first of the exclamation points and the first of the mission continuation. So, uh, let's, I think, it, is it around the other side? We'll go around the building here real quick, around the lodge and see if it's over here. But, anyway, so yeah, welcome back. We're back in this piers, and, uh, like I said, literally picking right up from where I left off before. Oh, I guess it's inside the building. Um, okay, that's fine. But, uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do quite yet today. If it's going to be these missions or just regular hunting, but maybe a little bit of both. I don't know. I just came back in to have a little bit of fun today. So, uh, what we got here? This one? The I hate typing subjects. I think that's what the, the job is. Is this right here? So, looks like, uh... Okay, well, let's accept it. Three-star Michelin restaurant order. My grandpa must have put a lot of effort into the business. So apparently you gotta get some ducks and geese for that one or whatever. But let's see here. Um Okay, so um glancing, the one for the disabled traps is over here by the uh the echo point. I could drive, but I kinda wanna see if maybe I might get anything in uh the process of getting out there. So I'm going to take it a little bit slow, a little bit easy, and see if we can find anything to hunt while we're doing it. Well, while I'm moving this direction, um, one of the things I see right here is we've got some pheasants out there. Uh, I don't think I got it on video, but I did get myself my very first five-star animal, which happens to be a pheasant. And I taxied it, put it in the lodge. Um, I'll be honest, I didn't get it the proper way, I'm pretty sure of it flying because uh, I have difficulty with that here so since this game hasn't penalized me yet for uh, shooting it on the ground which I know I shouldn't be doing um, I did and I, anyways like I said I got my first five star so hopefully one day I'll get one that's in the air but um, like I said there's these ones out here uh, I'm not gonna get them right now um, and then over here I saw I have some I think whitetail and then back here I had a call somewhere for some more Whitetail, and then you hear that call. Um, oh, these are mule deer. I thought they were whitetail, but they're mule deer. And then off up here, someplace is a fox as well. So, walking over to the the wind marker over there is probably the best idea I could do right now to try and find stuff. But um, it's going to take a bit. Oh, I see the one pheasant right there. Um, poking its head out and calling. Oh, I see another one sitting right here. A one star. Uh, but I was also checking my jobs. I have, uh, oh, that's nice. No deer there. It's just a little one star. Um, my jobs, I do have one to try to get a white-tailed deer with a heart shot. So, I think I'm going to go towards this horrible call over here and see if maybe I can get lucky with that. That one mule deer still looks nice from back here though. I know, it's not huge. I mean, I can tell even without the uh, the hunter sense popping up and giving me the heads up, but it still looks nice to me regardless. It's not huge. Okay, so um, I heard a crack of the twig over there. I've just got the sound analysis about a couple hundred yards out. I'm going to try to crawl in at this point because I don't want to spook them. So 
So hopefully, uh, like I said, we'll find something good and I'll get lucky here with it. There's that call. Man, that's just like a big, deep, guttural call. That's crazy that that comes from a deer. <laughs> but hey, it's again proven that it's up there in front of me, so we're getting there. Just taking a little time. Wow. Mule deer is closer than the uh, whitetail are here. Wow. All right, well, I thought they were right here at the water. Apparently, they're on the other side over here, and I can't see them still because they're behind these trees. Oh, uh, and then uh, the mule deer is getting closer. I think it's coming in on me. Dude, stop crying out. Okay, so I don't have good uh, luck with my deer calling yet. I'm going to see if maybe, and I need the mail though, I need the buck, I can't crawl through this water though either, that's like deep and fast. Um, I don't know if, my skill's not going to bring in the buck. I can only hope that maybe it would come with the female if I do this. Let's, let's try though I guess, see what happens. Well, the uh, female mule deer decided to call out and come give her attention, but... He's still, like, right there. Man, how am I going to do this? All right, well, I've uh, crossed over the river, and I've changed up my mission objective. There's the uh, white tail giving me the call that it's still up here in front of me, so... Oh, it's like I'm sweating right now, hoping that I can actually do this and get close enough and get the right shot and drop it like I'm supposed to. But, getting there. Getting close. It's taking a while to do it, though, man. This crawl. Woo! At least it's uh, working on my perk, which I need to get built up. So there's always some plus benefit here. Oh, there you go. 100, 100 to 120 yards out. Looks like it's right in the other side of these bushes. Man, it's like everything's just right in my way. Getting up to him here and even being able to see him. I have no idea what size it is either. Just it's a male. All I care about is the fact that it's a male. It could be a little malnourished, low-level, one-star, horrible, you know, Barely got a nub for a rack deer. I don't care if I can get the shot. <laughs> wow, I don't know what to do right now. Still showing that he's like right here on the other side of these trees that are in front of me. Oh, wait, it just popped. What did I just see? Oh, they're like, yeah, the hunter sense is doing something for me there. Where are they, though? Yeah, there's a little one-star white tail. What it popped up with. Oh, oh, right there. No, 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 go down. There you go, there you go. I'll take him. I will take that guy if I need to. That's, that's perfectly fine with me. Come on. <laughs> Did he drop? I heard a couple steps. I didn't hear a lot of running. I think he might have been by himself. Alright, let's go find out. No drinking often. And, oh, look at blood. Massive, nice blood. Air bubbles. Uh, man, that's not indicating a, uh, 
part shot. That's a long shot. Uh. Oh. Well, here it is. The beast. My man's massive monstrosity. Ah. Uh. And nope, no heart shot. Man. How does that even consider a long shot? Because I guess it's more of an artery shot, but I guess it went through the front the front part of the lungs up here. I just couldn't see it clearly because of the grass, but I did obviously aim too far forward from where the heart needed to be, so I need to aim back, back more towards the leg here. Try to get it. That's that's a bummer. That's a bummer, but I mean, I got one. So there's that. Um, trophy, little tiny, 137. He is uh, worth uh, 123.54 pounds to sell. Lost one pound, and my little one star, young male. But well, uh, let's go ahead and sell him here. But he. Uh, he didn't have to be uh, hit 1,700 times, and he didn't get dropped everywhere, so there's that. Uh, another male back that way. Well, maybe I'll go that direction. Um, <laughs> got the mildew still over there. I'm surprised those didn't get scared away, but let's uh, let's work this way and see if maybe I can find another white tail and get lucky with it. Obviously, it wasn't so much with this last one. Whoa. Found him. Right there. Got a... That's the male. Right there. What do we got over this side? Oh. One star mature male. What is that? That's a mildew sound? Crazy. Okay, that's a two-star adult male, and a one-star mature. Oh, I got elk up there. I got like everything over here right now. Nice. Well, that's the one I want, I think, because he's one-star mature. But I don't have a good angle on him. Too much out there uh, blocking my field of vision to get a good, good beat on what I need to hit. All right, I had over here. I saw it said two star mature. Um, obviously going back behind the trees again. Not getting a good sight on anything. Well, I got the two-star adult male again. Oh, is this the... There's the mature one. Oh. Right. There. <laughs> He's not moving very far, very fast. I think I maybe I did, but he didn't look like he dropped too well. So let's uh, mark it, get over there, and find out. The uh... wow, they're still calm after that shot. That's surprising. Do have to hunt some elk at some point. I I like elk as well. I really actually love their uh, calls. It's like one of my favorite things to hear is their calls. Oh, 
Oh, finally. Air bubbles. Man, another long shot. Ugh. Now I gotta figure out where it's going because it took forever just to find this. Because it's, it's not anywhere down um, or the mark over there. I think the mark ended up going too far. I think they actually got shot back there someplace and came this way. It took forever, just like I said, to find this this one because it didn't get marked properly. And I didn't see where they dropped. So, alright, well, here we go. It's going this way. Oh, well, he didn't go too far after I found that. Ah, uh, but bigger than the last one. But let's see which one I got. Did I get the uh, two star mature or the two star adult? Regardless, oh man, I still. Is that? Hold to the right, or I just aimed to the right a little too much. It was in the right direction. Just did not get where it needed to go to for the heart. Uh, uh. Man. Guess I need to like aim straight on or something. And hit right here in the ch center of the chest. Because my uh, trying to figure it out these other ways is just not working out for me right now. Trophy. 308. Hunt. 371 pounds. Overview. Two star mature male. So I did get the one I wanted to get. So not bad, I guess. Get a little bit of cash out of which I definitely need since I'm still in the early stages of the game. But I always use it regardless no matter which one I'm playing on. So, uh, I turned the light off there. I'm not sure what to do yet. I guess, you know, maybe I'm just going to head over here and do as I want to do this direction here. Even though I got those elk up there calling out. I think I want to go over the other way here and work on the mission. I don't, I don't know. I like the hunting is the fun part too. And uh, yeah, they're, I don't. Know, they might even not even still be around at this point. Who, who's calling? Probably a mule deer. Where you at? Where are you at? Oh, up there. Well, whatever. Huh. Let's work our way up that way, I guess, after all. We'll see what we can find. <clears throat> I gotta say, one of the things I noticed about here with uh, Way the Hunter, first off, obviously, different game, a bit harder, uh, got different game mechanics and stuff like that, but one of the things about it is that, technically, if you look at the, uh, and again, mind you, I'm, I'm making this statement with limited gameplay on it here and not going around to all the res parts of the reserves between uh, Nez Pierce, Transylvania, and Aurora Shores. But generally the look of each of them is almost about the same. All the green trees, the mountains, and stuff like that. And it's obviously realistic and it's probably the time of the year to hunt. Which I think is one of the things that makes a little bit of Call of the Wild better is the fact that they create unique times unique zones and flares for each of the reserves so you have like the autumn ones and everything and you have like the winter um and then even within like the autumn they got like different looks so, so like Reventuli looks different than uh, new england mountains all right which looks different than uh hirschfeld and they're all around the same time frame they just got this unique look to them so what have we got anything up here Sounds close. Oh, right there is Beauty. Laying down. Is he laying down? Or, no, he's he's standing, right? Oh, the tree's kind of making things difficult here. Um, But I think he's still standing. I'm going to go ahead and try to do... <laughs> tap him right there. And he ran off that direction. Obviously, didn't tap him well. 
But as I was saying, as I try to get up here to find this home, they just, they all have their unique look. So like New England Mountains adds in the uh, the charm with the bridges and stuff like that, along with the, uh, the rivers and things. And Reventuli's got the wide open fields and stuff and just, I mean, I know they're in here too, but I don't know how to, to describe it in the fact that they just have their unique looks to them and unique, uh, uniqueness in the regards of making them interesting to want to hunt on. All right, so did I even get anything here? What is this? That's the mule deer. Um, do I not have blood anywhere around here? Did I just shoot and miss completely? What is this? This there. This might have been where he was resting at. Yeah, resting. And then was uh, did I see something right over here? This is more the resting zone. Um. Let's see if I can move out a little bit here and see if I can see anything over this way. I thought I hit him. Tracks, but oh, there you go, blood. All right, uh, impurities clear. Red. Oh, that's not a good sign then. At least that, because that means it didn't get the lung either. Oh. Um. Which way was it pointing? Uh, I guess kind of this way. If I can find the next one. All right, well, I kind of found backtracked real quick to see if it would tell me here, but it doesn't say the animal survived, but it's not showing like a whole lot, so I don't know. I'm just, but it looks like it ran this way, so I'm going to try to follow it, see if I can find it, and uh, I don't know. It's just, just kind of rough still, even on this adventure difficulty to uh, track, it seems like. Yeah, looking around, I I got this zones for mule deer. I've got tracks around here, um, and then the blood just ends up um, stopping at this last one. Seems like I have a film that the animal survived, and that this is the last blood trail. So kind of like I did on the Aurora Shores at one point, which is upsetting. But it's what happens when you don't like have a good angle on the animal. Don't do it properly and uh yeah in this game it's it's unforgiving on you you gotta really like know what you're doing shooting well but um i think i'm going to head towards the the mission um over there so yeah i'll see what i have in route but maybe i'll get some better luck anyways as i'm wandering here kind of retouch back on what i was talking about there the the Call of the Wild reserves make it so it's a little bit more interesting. So, like, think about this. Um, besides the fact of, like, the different time zones, like I said, uh, Medved is, like, winter and everything. Little badgers. Um, and then you got the, the autumns with uh, the ones I mentioned already. But you throw in something like Mississippi, which is a swamp. And it just it gives it a very unique, distinct look to it. All right, um, and then obviously you got Africa, and I'm I'm hearing rumors that you know it's going to come to Way the Hunter eventually as well. But um, we interrupt this hunt and rant with some recent news. As you can see, Africa is coming to Way the Hunter. The video that I recorded beforehand, talking about all the differences I'd see in Call of the Wild compared to Way the Hunter, was done before this announcement was released. But as you can see in the video, 
We will have some new environments, including deserts, the savannas, and open plains that look vastly different from what you've seen as Pierce Valley, Transylvania, and Aurora Shores. There's definitely distinctions coming in Way of the Hunter, and this is making me happy. So, this will be rectified shortly. Until then, I'll just keep pressing on with what I have. We now return you back to the hunt. It's just, you got these, like, quattro cleanest, the, the lavender fields and things like that. That's what I'm saying. It's like it adds this unique flair to the differences in the the reserves. Where here, um, it's just they all kind of look about the same. I, I mean, they're different regions and different areas of the the world and stuff, but they all generally look about the same. Mind you, they're beautiful, and there would be places I would like love to live, but. Like I said, they're all just these pine forests, evergreen forests, and mountains and rivers. Um, doesn't matter if you're here in Nez Pierce or if you're in Aurora Shores or in, in Transylvania. They're all kind of about the same. Um, is there anything down here? No, it doesn't look like it. So, uh, let's kind of scramble down the rock face here and not get killed all right there we go cool um so i think that that's something that could help benefit with uh, way the hunter here is just adding in reserves that are just unique you know like when they did the aurora shores i mentioned on a previous video they had the chance of putting in the snow and stuff like that right and I've even posted this on Discord and Call of the Wild and things. That they should, like, have the snow set up in a way in these games where it just, you know, parts way so you can track an animal through the, the, um, the snow. Which this game is would be amazing for that since it's trying to be as realistic as possible. Oh, hey, there we go. What do we got? Got a uh, young male, female, adult. Another one star adult. Looks like they're all adult males, one stars at the best. So, and they're moving away. Um, yeah, definitely gonna lose them at this point with the, the angle. So, let's try to uh, work my way in and see if I can get something better with it. But, uh, as I was saying though, um, they, they really need to like make some unique um scenes and sceneries in here in way the hunter just to to make it so you want to travel to different reserves because honestly each even though the reserves have different animals part of the charm is going someplace that also looks and feels different at least to me you know i i enjoy the variety variety is the spice of life as they say and um i just i think it would help benefit to add in the different uh types of Reserves just making them all unique from each other, uh, as opposed to car, you know, cookie cuttering them, carbon copying, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, this is this is not going to be a good angle on them at all. That's for sure. Anyway, so that's just kind of like my thoughts on the matter is, like I said, I love the game. It's a nice change of pace from Call of the Wild. It's a break from it, you know, and it gives you a different feel. But that's one thing I think it does need to, to help make it a little bit better. It's just to add some different variety. All right, these are about 150 out. I'm surprised they're not, like, interested in my crouch walking here. I wonder if I can get somebody's attention or not. That one looks pretty big right there, though. Another one star. It looks like he might get to be huge. Hello. Yeah, I see you. They're all down there. Wagging their tails. 
you know, they're all about the same. Let's see if maybe, no, is it going to turn? Can turn. <sighs> yeah, that guy looks huge compared to the other ones. I wonder if I did a next shot. There's like, what, four of those bucks in there? Let's try. Ooh. <laughs> I had blood from something, but which one was it? I don't know. <laughs> I was hoping to get a double uh, spine shot there if it would blow through or not. Uh, all right, well, oh, I forgot to mark it. Great, lovely. Um, over here someplace, I think. Right around there, let's let's do that. Get over there and see if I uh, got lucky with anything. Okay, uh, let's see. It does look like I got double blood here. Like I hit two. <laughs> wow, um... Where to do, what to do, what to do. So, let's see. One went this way. And one went that way. <laughs> I did get a 2-4. Alright, well this is going to be much more difficult than normal. Let's see what I can do. Hello. Where? Yeah, well, whatever. Lucky pheasant. Well, I tried to track. I uh, went this way first, obviously. Um, and you can see that one goes about, I don't know what, 40 yards that way. And this one goes about another 40, 45 yards this way. This one's on the dirt path on the road and easy to track. And yet it still stops. And that one stopped over there. So it looks like, like the elk, I lost out on both these mule deer. But the fact is that you can shoot through them and I got two for one. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Uh, it'd be kind of nice if I could do that with uh, a heart shot or something, drop them both in their, their spot right there. But, uh, well, another unfortunate shot experience there. So I guess I'm going to have uh, two mule deer out here with wounds on them that eventually I may end up claiming later. So, but keep moving on, I guess. That's all I can do. All right, well, I'm coming into the area here for the mission, and uh, you see the traps are now starting to pop into view uh, for where I gotta go to, but um, I wonder if there's any animals out here. Not looking like it. Oh. Something. Oh, there we go. Wolf. There is an animal out here. Mature female. Is she by herself? Nope, there's another one right there. Two star mature male. Adult. Two star mature male. Adult. Mature female. Adult. <laughs> if I come on the other side of this uh, tree, or if there's like a little, there they are, right there. Jeez. All right, we'll take second one since I know what he is.
Oh, they're all stopping now. Well, that's going to make things difficult. Um. Oh, wait. All right, well, right here in the front is a two-star mature male moving out. Come on, quickly, rotate, rotate. And that would, should be it right here. Right there. That would probably be uh, I imagine it should be dropping quickly here. No, running that fast, that's that can't be them. That's the one. Gotta be the one, maybe, right? Not going that fast. I have a feeling that maybe it dropped right there. But I'll go over here and check real quick. After I claim these. Let's do this real fast. Alright, first one, disable trap. Yeah, all the wolves are running up there. Disable trap number two. Number three. Four. And number five. No active mission selected. That's fine. I need to go back to the lodge probably in a second anyways. Once I figure out what's going on with this uh, wolf that I shot. Did it run off like the deer and the elk or did I down it? Oh, well here's the blood. Uh, food, impurity, food fragment. Did I shoot it in the stomach? I did. I think I shot in the stomach is what I, it, it was moving a little too fast. So, uh, all right, well, there's that. And uh, I just need to track it now. Didn't have to track it too far, it looks like. I was right. It did drop right about where I marked it, so. Hello, Wolfie. How you doing? What did we get with you, buddy? Stomach shot, yep. Wow, that's kind of cool. It says food impurities on it, though. That's pretty nice. Yeah, that does look about where I hit it, because I was aiming here, but it was moving, and by the time I pulled the trigger... Yeah, that would be about right. Oh, this is a female, though. There's no trophy. I thought I shot the male. Oh, shot by loss. A little less than a pound. 83 pound overview. Female. Oh. That's a bummer. <laughs> it's like this whole evening this whole day's hunt's been a bummer oh well i'll take it analyze yeah food fragments um but that's a shame all right let me head back to the lodge real quick did you find the traps i collected them all has he lost his mind i believe so were they empty i mean yeah thankfully why does he use these kinds of traps Why? Do you remember the last time you were here? Yeah. It's not something that you could easily forget. And I changed something for all three of us. What if I report no to the authorities? This is illegal and highly unethical. Please don't. I'm trying to help him. <laughs> but what about the animals? We're helping them, too. Can we meet and talk? I would love to, River, but now's not the time. I need to get in touch with someone over the walkie-talkie, and they're not responding. Can you check one area? And uh, did you use the right code? What? You know, like, like Bond. The eagle has landed. I repeat, eagle has landed. Uh, <laughs> Mississippi River is strikingly beautiful in April. 
And April is a terrible month to swim in the river. Field trip has ended. And the daisies are especially ecstatic. Okay, we have to stop. I have a real issue that needs tending to. Ah, you mean the monkey is outside of the cage? Yeah, and there are a lot of bananas. But now for real, would you help me find Noah's son? <laughs> what? Noah has a son? Ah, or is this another code? No code. He has an eight-year-old boy named Timothy, and he's quite the handful. He's here for a week. Noah won't talk to me, and now I'm worried. Wait, was, is he by chance the kid who was screaming from the walkie-talkie? Yeah, he was pretty eager to do it once I told him I want to scare his dad. He's a great kid. Can you help me find him? Sure. Thank you. I am sending you an approximate location where I think he might be. Well, there's my next job. I heard a fox out here as well, but uh, I think this is where I'm going to end this session right now because uh, it's been quite a bit of time for me hunting around out here and tracking and not finding the animals and stuff. So it's been a long day and I'm tired. I need to get some rest. But until next time, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Happy hunting, everyone. Take care. God bless. Bye. I got ducks flying. Or I have ducks quacking over there, I should say. Um, and yeah, I hear ya.